can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. In today's video, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to finish up at least the rear end completely. So all we have is the rear bumper. I mean the front bumper, the rear bumper is gonna be done. So the rear end is trying to be completely done, and the front end, hopefully, we're just gonna have the front bumper. We have to sand that and get that all done with. So that's probably not gonna be in this video. I'm probably gonna be doing the same video that we're doing the intercooler upgrade. So I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna be making that a separate video. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna try to make it as you know jam packed as possible. But in today's video, doing the rear bumper does take a lot of time, and also the trunk. We have to gut the trunk to do it. So it is a lot of work. Take off the spoiler, emblem, uh, brake light, plates, emblems, all that stuff. So it's a lot of stuff to get off the trunk to just wrap that piece. But before we do all that i'm actually here with jonathan hey, what's up? and the uh so. we're chilling the five series big family car you know we got kids and everything so it just works so we're heading over right now to where are we going where, where are we going where do you guys want to eat well i uh, think i think everybody knows where we are <laughs> well i plan like i'm driving to chipotle but like i need you guys to literally tell me what y'all are feeling no, yeah, i'm done for chipotle I'm what do you feel what do you feel on the uh, I think I get a free entree this time. Oh, I think, so. I, think I actually have one too, maybe. I, so. I have to look see. at that. Anyhow, uh, we'll let you guys know what we get. You, it's most likely Chipotle, let's be realistic. Tell me what you used to love. All right, guys, so we just got here to Chipotle. Um, I don't know how many masks I have in the car, so let's see. So my brother got a boy and tortilla, so did Johnny, my boy, and I got mine right here. So I'm about to just chow down before we get to work. How you doing, buddy? We just need to do the trunk, and we just need the front bumper and the rear bumper, right? Uh huh. <laughs> what are you pooped out? A little bit. So yeah, guys. Uh, so basically, we all just got Chipotle. And for some reason, we all feel fat. I think yeah, it's the I beans. Don't, I don't feel so good to be honest. <laughs> I don't feel good either. It's weird. Something was it, even everything kind of looked off with the food. Probably, probably poison, bro. They poisoned us. They, they I'm did. not feeling good. Me like, I just went to the bathroom. It, it's super weird. weird. So. Anyhow, trying to stay in a positive mood. Uh, so basically, we do have to take off the spoiler. Uh, we have to take off a bunch of things on the trunk to take off this emblem. We have to take out the taillights again, mainly because I thought they were gonna be actually doing this car at the shop the rest of it, but we're not. We're actually gonna try to finish up the rear end in this garage. So we're gonna take about everything, and then uh, we're gonna be throwing on the wheels in the next video. So uh, we have so much to do to get this thing pretty much fully ready. Um, let me know, guys. Do you guys think I should wrap the roof to match the car? Is it a little bit too much black? I'm not sure yet, to be honest. So uh, let's just do the rear end real quick. Throw on the wheels, hoping the next video, and let me know if you guys want me to wrap the roof uh, the same color as the car or keep it black. You guys are also telling me to get a 1M hood. I do plan on getting 1M bumpers, but the hood, I don't know. Let me know. Should I get the hood or not? Because the hood is like $800, something crazy. But if you guys absolutely want to see it on the channel, I will get it. Like I said, guys, turn signals are coming in the mail, so we're good to go on that. So without further ado, guys, I think we should just get right into it. We got a lot of uh, cleaning to do. We got a lot of things to take off, so let's get to it, huh? Let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Let's get it. You always posting up bitches, trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on high and eat us Alright guys, uh, so th this looks a little sloppy, but it is buttery smooth, so do not worry. We got the badge off there. The 3M is sore to take off. We actually have 3M here from the logo. It's all over, but all this gets covered up from the logo, so I'm really not too worried about it. Plus, I don't really want to scratch the paint, so if somebody else wants to remove the logo and clean that up, that's up to them. But for me, I don't really personally care. It's gonna The logo is going to cover it. Um, as for the top portion right here, this is absolutely horrible to take off. I mean, I've seen people, I watch videos, they say, oh, you can just spend six hours doing this. I make YouTube videos and I don't got time to spend six hours on this thing. You guys can spend six hours on it if you're trying to be perfect. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap over it and I'm gonna put a spoiler on here, the one that came with the car. Main thing is, I told Jonathan, I think I'm gonna go with like a CSL trunk. I'm probably gonna end up going with the CSL trunk, so there's no point to spending six hours on this trunk and possibly ruining the paint. I'd rather have the paint OEM and good uh, than mess it up. So again, I'm not gonna do anything that I don't want to to mess this up, uh, but at least it's gonna look good in the end. So don't worry guys, have faith in the process. Uh, we do wanna remove this thing also so we can tuck the wrap. Like I said, I do want this to look good, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. So to do that, we even have to remove these lights too. We just have to remove these clips, so let's get to it real quick.
right guys, so uh, Diachi just sold his car. So that's gonna be for another topic. But yeah, congratulations to my brother. He just sold his car. Um, what we're looking at right now is the trunk. So we just pretty much completed it. As you guys can see underneath the wrap, there is pretty much the rest full of residue, which again, I told you guys, I don't wanna ruin it. Um, it doesn't really matter for me because I'm gonna be adding a massive spoiler on this thing. And a little, little spoiler here and a massive spoiler. I do plan on doing it for, for the track. So that all being said, I also do plan on upgrading this trunk. So again, I don't wanna scratch it all. I want the next owner uh, when I wanna sell this trunk, I wanna upgrade the trunk. I don't want him having a messed up trunk. He says, oh, the paint's messed up. I need to repaint it, this, this, and that. So I'm just gonna leave that on. It doesn't make a difference for me when I put on the spoiler, it's gonna cover that up. So I'm good to go on that. As for the rest of the trunk, we do need to put another piece here. It's best to do it in two pieces, mainly because it won't peel as much. It won't like crinkle up as much. It'll be more adhesive. So we're gonna do it in two pieces. Uh, so anyhow, without further ado, let's get back to it. You and me stuck on the ocean now Nothing but waves in this filling in I wanna dry up but you Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here All my reasoning have disappeared I wanna bury the hatchet And find the way back to our home Our home, our home We don't have to drift inside this dome I will not let us fade away It's not a price I wanna pay And it's not too late No, we lost our purpose Chasing all that surplus You were all that I need I feel that we can break free We can still go back there To a place with no cares We can turn this ship around We can turn this ship around All the way back Ourselves. Didn't have much, but nevertheless, we were true to each other. But now we don't even bother. I remember you being hopeful, but the tall waves have worn us down, and slowly we are drowning. That's why you need to come. All right, guys, here's the back of the 135. So this actually looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait for the wheel, but check that out. That actually came out amazing. The black spoiler that came with the car, we just threw that back on for now until we get a better spoiler. But for now, it's a pretty good detail. It looks pretty good. Again, I don't have to, I don't have to paint it. I don't have to wrap it. It just works. The diffuser's already the color that it is. Um, these tail lights, I'm trying to upgrade to the black light ones. I think it'll be super sick. It's like the Depot uh, LED ones. I think that's gonna be super cool. Again, the wheels, hopefully in the next video for you guys. This is looking super good. I also just got the wheels in for the 435. It's right there. I got two of them. I'm hoping the other two coming soon. Unfortunately, this is the end of uh, today. Doesn't mean it's the end of this video. So. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully we get to wrap up this video doing one more thing to the, fourth, the 135. Uh, but as for now, maybe even wrapping that front bumper. But as for now, let's go ahead and conclude it as a day. So I'll see you guys the next time I see you guys. All right guys, so it's actually a couple days later and uh, didn't want to conclude the video without any mods as well. So we finally got the package in from Amazon for the turn signals. Let me show you guys the befores real quick. So that's how she's looking right now. The fitment's really good. As you guys can see, the wrap job's really good all around here, but uh, this thing's pretty hideous. So let me show you guys what I got off of Amazon. So here is the kit right here. It actually comes with instructions on how to do it, which is pretty perfect. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and do it real quick. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the before and after. Here's the instructions, pretty much how you do it. You remove it, unplug the bulb, take the bulb out, put the bulb in this one, uh, or at least use the, the socket for the bulb, and then plug it into the aftermarket harness, and bada bing, bada bang. So here's the before, and guys, here is the after. It looks so much better, but I did notice it has a chip on the top there. I don't get why, even on the other side, and, Look at this problem. The bulbs are only going up to halfway. It's not even going all the way over here, the whole LED bar. And how I know that, if you guys look at this one, this one kind of goes all the way. This one looks a lot better, still has a little bit of a chip on the top, don't know why. At least it kind of somewhat works and it's smoked out. But that was $30 and uh, they're broken and they're in pretty terrible shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and just link Keys Motorsports. Should have just got it from them. I decided I just wanted to get it from uh, Amazon next day shipping, so I just went through that. Uh, and you know now I have to go return them and probably exchange them I'm just gonna try to see if they can send me just one out 
uh, probably a lot easier, but this is why you just get quality from the start. I tried cheaping out on one thing and look where that got me. Anywho, it does look a lot better, the smoked out vibe to it. Fine, there's no more weird things. Now the next thing probably gonna have to do is clear the headlights and tin them and then probably do something custom with the headlights because these headlights are pretty ugly. As you guys can see, these aren't the best looking headlights, especially this, what is going on there? But anywho guys, uh, that's all gonna be for a future video. The next video, uh, we did get our wheels for the 435, so we're gonna be slapping this on the 435 and we're gonna be slapping on the wheels onto the 135 pretty soon as well. So new wheels for two cars in the next couple videos. I also have a special package right here that just came in from Aza Wheels. So if you guys are wondering what they sent me, stay tuned because this is probably the best wheel I've ever owned. And that says a lot because my 435, my 435 wheel from them is absolutely insane. Anyway guys, I love y'all so much. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys wanna see me more in driving my cars, enjoying my cars, I know I build them a lot. I don't really go out and enjoy them as much. So if you guys wanna see that, the vlog vibe as well, I started getting to that as well. I've recently been just so jam packed with builds and I'm just trying to build the cars, but I haven't been really enjoying them as much. I pretty much just build them and I let them sit. So I probably need to start enjoying them as well. Cop some merch if you guys are trying to support your boys. We got so much new things in the store. I'm actually about to head out because it is the morning that I'm supposed to be heading out to the tire shop. So to head out, get some new tires, mount these wheels. You guys are gonna see this soon. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You.